Hello friends, this video on practical geometry part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us look at the type 1 where 3 sides lengths are given. So what are we aiming to do when we want to draw a triangle with the 3 sides? So that means we want to draw a triangle ABC where the lengths of AB, BC and AC are given. So in, if you make a rough estimate, it is going to be something like this. You have a triangle ABC where you know the length of the side AB, BC and AC. So let us look at it step by step. How do we draw this triangle? So first of all, we draw any one side of the triangle. So in this case, let us say that we draw BC, BC, which is like the side which is at the base. Then so you can draw any side you feel like. So this is BC, which you have drawn as per the length that is given. Let's say it is given that BC is 5 centimeters. So you measure 5 centimeters with the ruler and you draw this line BC. Then what do you do? Next, you draw an arc from point C at a distance equal to AC. Okay, so the length of AC is also known to you, right? So AC is going to be this side, that is this side. So somewhere here. So but what is the length of this side? For that what you do, take, com take the compass, measure the distance on a ruler. Let's say AC is given as 4 centimeters. So you measure 4 centimeters on a ruler and take that in a compass. So you, you adjust the opening of the compass in such a way that it is equal to 4 centimeter. And then you draw an arc. So you keep one end of the compass here and on the other end where you have the pencil, you draw an arc at a distance equal to AC. In a similar way, you draw an arc from point B, that is from this side, at a distance equal to AB. So let us say if AB is 2 centimeters. So you measure 2 centimeters on a ruler. So you adjust the opening of the compass up to 2 centimeters and then you draw an arc. Perfect. Now what do you see? You see that these two arcs, they intersect at a point. So this point is nothing but point A. So this is going to be your point A. So what you do, do, you join this point A to both B and C. And that is how you get this triangle ABC. So when you know all the three sides of the triangle, what you do is you draw one side and then for the other two sides, you draw arcs at a distance equal to the length of the sides. Now the point where the two arcs intersect, so that point is the third vertex of the triangle. So this is how you draw a triangle when you know the length of all the three sides. So let us try this. Draw a triangle PQR with PQ equal to 4 cm, QR equals to 3.5 cm and PR is equal to 4 cm. What type of triangle is this? Now when you look at this triangle again, let us have a rough sketch in mind. So when you try to do this rough sketch, let's say this is your triangle PQR. So as per the question, PQ is equal to 4 cm. QR is equal to 3.5 cm and PR is again equal to 4 cm. So basically PQ and PR are equal in length. So that means two sides of the triangle is equal. So the triangle for which two sides are equal, that type of triangle is called isosceles triangle. So what type of triangle is this? It is isosceles triangle. Now let us try to draw the exact triangle. So what we do first of all we draw QR. So we will go as per this rough sketch only. So first let's draw QR. This is QR whose length is 3.5 cm. So we draw this using a ruler. Now you take the compass, put it, place it on the ruler. So let us say if this is how your ruler is. So I'm just trying to tell you how do you measure this. Let's say this is your ruler. So you take the compass and you measure 4 cm like this. Let's say this is your compass. So this is the compass. So you measure 4 cm and you adjust the opening of the compass such that the opening of the two ends of the compass is equal to 4 cm. So now once you have uh, taken that measurement in the compass, so from point Q you draw an arc 
again from point R you draw an arc. So why with the same opening of the compass? Because both the sides are equal, both are 4 cm. So from point Q you draw one arc, again considering point R as the center you draw another arc. And what do you see? You see that these two arcs meet at this point. So this point becomes point P. So now you join PQ and PR and that's how you get this isosceles triangle. So in this case both of these side lengths are 4 cm respectively. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.